Marissa, wake up. What? Did you sleep with your makeup on? Yeah, I got lazy. What do you want? I have a surprise for you. Come on. What? Oh. What? Go, go, go. Go ahead. Sit down right here. Ronnie, what is happening? Cue the music. Cue the logo. Okay. And welcome to Zoom for a Groom. I am your host, Veronica Merrill. Let's meet the first lucky lady. Miss, what is your name? Ronnie, I don't want to do this. Just go along with it. I work really hard. Please? Fine. I'm Vanessa. Vanessa Merrill! She loves cats, sleeps way too much, hates cheese, and has random burps, which she claims are hiccups. They are hiccups. Let's meet our contestants. What? Con <gasps> Ronnie, you didn't tell me I'd be meeting boys today. I literally am looking like a mess. You do look like a mess. First contestant is Brad. Brad? Hi, Brad. Sup? I put the rad in Brad. He's a semi-professional basketball player for an LA Park District recreational team. Also, he's a delivery driver. He loves the Lakers and hates the Celtics. Hi, Brad. What's up? Good to be here. Next up is Noah. Hey, I know a lot about Star Wars. Noah is a screenwriter specializing in Star Wars fan fiction. He loves Star Wars and hates people who think they know more about Star Wars than he does. Oh, I like Star Wars too. Do you just like it or do you love it? Because I love it, like a lot. You can't just like Star Wars. All right, that's enough about Star Wars. Let's meet Walker. Who wants to go for a walk? Walker is ironically a dog walker. He loves long walks on the beach and hates squirrels and postal workers. Next is Arthur. Art is me and I am art. Arthur is an artist. He loves a blank canvas and hates money. You hate money? Yes. Because art should be free. Speaking of money, next we have Richard. Hi, I'm Rich. Er, Richard. Richard is a stockbroker. He loves coupon codes and hates laughing. Why do you hate to laugh? I don't know. Never tried it. Aha uh ha! Very funny. All right, let's begin round one. Round one is a Q and A. Why did your last relationship end, and what are you looking for in a new one? Brad. Uh, yeah, I dumped my girlfriend when I heard about this show. Um, what if you don't win? Uh, well, now I'll just get back with my girlfriend. Uh, that way it's not cheating, you know what I mean? Ah, well, technically I've never been in a relationship before, but I am looking for my Padme. Oh, that's so cute. But I'm more of an Ahsoka fan. I just love Ahsoka. Ah, well, technically I said Padme and Ahsoka is a Jedi, but she kind of left the Jedi Order, which is a bit complicated story. But technically she can't form attachments because she's a Jedi and can use the Force and you're not supposed to do that. So it's a very complicated situation. She can't really choose ah Ahsoka if you're going to try to be my Padme. Do you know anything about Star Wars? Yeah, of course I know that about Star Wars. I'm just trying to be cute because I like Ahsoka. Nerd alert! Walker, what about you? What do you look for in a companion? Oh, I'm looking for a best friend. Someone to play frisbee with. Or someone to greet me whenever I come home. Tell me when the doorbell rings. Arthur, what about you? Why did your last relationship end? I am still in one. You are? I am married to my art. But I am always looking for my next muse, of course. My ex was only interested in me for my money, so I'm looking for someone to invest my time in and yield a high ROI. What's an ROI? It's a return on investment. Next question! <laughs> After quarantine, where would you take Nessa on a first date? Brad? Ooh, three words. Basket, ball, get it. Um, actually that's two words. What are you, the word police? Noah? 
Ah, uh, well, since we can't really go to the planet of Naboo where Anakin and Padme had their first date and it was super romantic, I was thinking maybe we could dress up as Anakin and Padme and we could uh, cosplay and go on a cute date together at like Comic Con. <laughs> oh, I have a really cool Princess Leia costume. Um, I said Anakin and Padme. I'm not talking about Princess Leia. That doesn't work in the timeline. Anakin is Princess Leia's father. You can't just cosplay as Princess Leia. That's my daughter. And if we're going to be in love, you can't be in love with your daughter. That's weird. We'd start on a long walk in the park and then some dinner. Aw, what do we have for dinner? Oh, well, I hope you would like some chicken and barley. Or if you're trying to work on your weight, uh, we can have some hearty vegetable and beef stew. Canned chicken and beef? It's not as bad as you think. Ew. Okay, what about you, Arthur? I would take Vanessa to an art gallery to see if she truly understands what art is. Oh, well, isn't art just meant to be enjoyed? No! Real art! is meant to make you uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable right now. And lastly, Richard, what do you have to say? Yes, I've been finding a lot of great deals during quarantine, and I would like to take Nessa out on a date to go mini golf. Oh, I love mini golf. <laughs> great, because we can play all 10 rounds for the price of one. The catch is we have to play all 10 rounds at once. It'll only take about Eight hours. Oh, well, I don't love mini golf that much. All right, final question. If you and Nessa were in a romantic comedy, what would the name of the movie be and who would play you? Huh, I got this. My movie would be called The Goat. <laughs> and LeBron James would play me. I heard he's been wanting to get into movies. Ours would be an animated movie called Hot Dog, and that dog from Lady and the Tramp will play me. Well, actually, I've already written a movie set in the Star Wars universe. It's called Star Crossed, where my character comes back as Qui-Gon Jinn, so it'd be really cool if uh, Liam, Liam Neeson played my character because he's like like a legend, you know, and Qui-Gon Jinn's like a really cool Jedi, and my character's reincarnated as him, so I would have him. It would be called Rivers. And the whole thing would be played in reverse. Vanessa would play me, and I would play Vanessa because art. First question, what is the budget of this movie, and how much am I getting? And that's the end of round one. Nessa, it's time for you to choose one of these guys to dump. Who's it going to be? Um, I don't know who to dump. Um, well... I guess I'll just choose, um, Brad. You should probably get back with your girlfriend. Whatevs. Goodbye, Brad. Next round, the talent show. Each contestant will show off their skills to try and impress Nessa. Noah, let's see what you got, Jedi. All right, so for my talent, I'm going to be showing some lightsaber tricks that I've been learning with a dual lightsaber, but this is a painting stick because I don't have an actual dual lightsaber. So um, here we go. <clears throat> oh, wow, that's really impressive. Walker, you're up next. This is my dog. Aw, he's so cute. Pappy, say hello. <laughs> High five, Nessa. Oh, such a good girl. Good job, Nessa. Oh, uh, 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 Arthur, what have you been working on? Behold, my masterpiece. Is that supposed to be me? No, this is a painting of the beautiful you, Vanessa. It's terrible. No, you are terrible. Oh, Richard, um, uh, what, what about you? If you refer to this document that I'm going to screen share, I'm going to show you how to properly invest your money over a 10 year period. And uh, that's all the time we have for round two. You know what that means now. Nessa, you have to say bye to one of these guys. I know it's kind of a hard thing to think about, so take your Arthur, time. Arthur, I hated your painting. Well, you are ugly to paint with your tiny baby hands and your big crater that you call a temple. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, 
it's time for the final round, the TikTok dance off. Each final three contestants will pick a TikTok dance and show it to Vanessa, which she will then pick a winner. <laughs> Noah, why don't you show us what you got? <clears throat> I will not be eliminated from this round because I'm horrible at dancing. I just looked up the app. Look at the average engagement rate. You could really get a lot of eyeballs to your products and make some great money. Wow, that was amazing. Nessa, I know this is a tough decision you have to make, so take your time on choosing who will be your husband. Husband? Are you crazy? Wait, I thought I was just going on a date with one of these guys after quarantine. It says right here in the title, Zoom for a room. You're going to choose a husband to spend the rest of your life with. Now, is it going to be Master Jedi Noah, Richie Richard, or the Dog Walker? Uh None of them. I don't like any of these guys. I'm I'm going back to bed. We uh, um excuse me. Are we still getting paid to be on this show? Good question, Richard. All right. <laughs> and on that note, make sure to come back next time when we find James Larum a bride here on Zoom for a Groom. I need to work on that. See ya! Thanks for watching Zoom for a Groom. Hope you guys enjoyed this really interesting sketch. If you want to be contestants for Zoom for a Groom, I don't know, I was going to say a joke or something, but I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, I don't think this is something you'd want to be a part of. <laughs> Anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please. Let us know if we should do something else like this. Also, check out our merch. Make sure to get some if you can. And if you want, you don't have to, but you can. And on that note, thanks so... Oh, oh, what I, are we looking at? That one. Oh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel by clicking that button over there. And if you click this button right over here, you can subscribe to our live channel where we live stream every single week. Check out some of the other videos we've done. And our merch in the link in the description below. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.